Welcome to my world. 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 Oh, is there any trick candles? I'm gonna do a walkthrough. I'm gonna get the bed made. I'm gonna shake the rug out. I need to sweep and mop. Take care of the sink and the toilet in the bathroom. I started sweeping up all the glitter yesterday. Got to sweep in the stairs. I want to mop because we had people in the house yesterday. And they're good friends of the family, but you don't know where they've been throughout the day. You want to keep your house germ free. So after a big event, mop your floors. Sweep and mop in the TV nook. We take care of the dinner table. And just a few things on there. Let's see what's wrong with Jack on this chain. I think I got a little bit of laundry to fold. There's some downstairs, so I'll fold it when it's all up. Take care of the kitchen this morning. Got a case of water to put away. Stack of dishes, countertop clutter, break down the coffee, and the usual regular maintenance. The glitter made it everywhere. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. And we're going to get started in the bathroom this morning and work our way to, to the kitchen. Good morning, everybody, and good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this, and even good evening. I'm Suzanne Ridgway. This is Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. This is one of our cleaning routine videos. We do two a week, and we're going to get tidied up after a birthday party. As I mentioned, we had some close friends over, friends of Jacqueline's that have been friends with her pretty much since preschool, and you don't know where they've been throughout the day, so you want to get things cleaned up and scrubbed down and disinfected. As you see me doing here, we're taking care of a little pedestal sink in the bathroom like we do in, in any of our cleaning videos. We also have a cleaning video every Monday called Motivation Monday or some kind of title similar to it. This is our Wednesday edition of the cleaning videos called Get It Done or Get It All Done. We're going to take care of the toilet now. I have the Ajax in the toilet only. The powdered stuff and the brush only touches that. Then I have the bang for the rest of the toilet. I'm going to get it scrubbed down. And we're going to take care of the floors in here. We're going to make sure they're disinfected and cleaned because it was a high traffic area from the party yesterday. And make sure everything is scrubbed down. The shower we do off camera because it's old and embarrassing. And we had already swept before we did the sink and the toilet. This is very tight. The not even the swiffer really gets in between the toilet and the wall there, especially with the skinny bin. So I'm just going to kind of stick it in there and scrub it back and forth to the best of my ability. And be careful taking it out so I don't knock anything over. Now we're going to do the breezeway, sweep up some of the glitter. I'll get the rest of it later on today as I go make my way outside and get the breezeway swept up. And then get everything put back into the bathroom, including the garbage can. I don't need to empty that out yet. We just did that yesterday. Gonna take that bang and spray the floor down and get the breezeway. Kids were in and out. I'm gonna get all that dirt and dust up. And the swiffer works really well. Gonna make sure everything gets put back into the bathroom. Starting with the little rug pieces that I pick up at Dollar Tree. We got the other one in, and now we're gonna get the garbage can back in. Now we're gonna take care of the middle bedroom. Jacqueline is home. This video was previously recorded. I grabbed a sip of my coffee. Get the bed made, make it every day, sometimes even multiple times a day, depends on how much I chillax in between videos throughout the day to bring you guys the best of my ability. 
Now we're going to take the rug and we're going to shake it out because we're going to mop in here today because we didn't in the last cleaning video. And then I'll get my camera bag put away. That glitter from the birthday party just ended up everywhere. I don't usually allow it, but it was the 13th birthday, so we did. Plus, Jacqueline promised to smile on her photo, and she did. So we got a nice picture to send to the grandparents of the 13-year-old. There's a lot of dirt and dust in here, and I just swept in here a couple of days ago. I swear it just kind of flies in once you open the front door. The garbage can doesn't need to be emptied in the bedroom too often because it's just me in here. When Zara comes home from college, they're going to camp out on the couch because they're up late. And I have to sleep a certain position from the eye surgery. And I can't do that on the couch. And my kid already knows that we're going to be doing that. So we're going to take care of the dining area. I'm going to sweep this part of it first. Back and forth. Short, long strokes. Try to get up all that glitter. I'll run the vacuum cleaner later this afternoon through here if I notice any more to try to get the rest of it up. But like sand from the beach and pine needles from Christmas, you'll find the sand and the pine needles months later. Now we're going to finish sweeping up and take care of the floors. I'm doing an extra good job in here because of the people that we had over yesterday. Now I have the Swiffer again from Dollar Tree and the bang in my hand. I'm going to change camera angles. Get a better view here. i do the baseboards whenever I mop. Now we're going to take care of under the table. And if I notice some glitter, I want to make sure I get all that up. It looked like a birthday party exploded in here yesterday. Very festive looking. Joplin did 90% of the decorating. I just did the basic part with the tablecloth and everything. And Jacqueline did all the rest. Now we're going to go to the opposite side of the dining area. Move the chair out of the way once again. Awkward spaces have awkward camera angles and do the best of my ability to get a view of what I'm doing. I finished all the sweeping and then we're going to go into the TV nook after we mop this section. Disappear for a second and dump out of the dustpan. And I grab my Swiffer and I have the bang. I'm going to mop this side. The great room is split up in between pillars and original crown molding that separates the TV nook from the dining area that we have set up with the freezer and everything. Now we're in the TV nook. Get a little glance of the tree. The holiday tour will be this week of everything that we've done with all the cleaning and decluttering and decorating for the holidays with my kid coming home from college, both Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm so excited. I can't believe that they don't live here most of the year anymore. It's sad, but I'm excited for them at the same time because they're 18 and practically on their own. Now we're going to mop in here with all the kids back and forth going outside in Jacqueline's room. Even though we just mopped and swept the other day, we're going to do it again. Just to make sure there's no germs floating around in here. The little critters in here, the gerbil, she's doing well. She's over three and a half now. And we love her. She doesn't eat very much anymore. Just wet, solid foods like peanut butter or mashed vegetables that I looked up so that they can eat and they're, they love egg. So I make sure she gets a little bit of egg when I have my breakfast. Now we're going to get the table washed down. Always disinfect your table. We're going to be having a chicken roast out here today. Kind of a pre-Thanksgiving thing. I'm so excited for Turkey Day. I cannot wait for the Macy's Day Parade. I watch it every year. I have since I was a little kid. Gonna get the rims of the chairs because people were sitting at the table yesterday and now we're into the kitchen gonna get all the dishes put away there's not that many they're just big get the counter situated so we can get it scrubbed down the other day we did a disinfectant in here on the counter surfaces today we're just going to use hot soapy water take care of some dishes in the cabinet over the sink make sure they're put in properly and now we're going to the other side to make sure the coffee maker is broke down and ready to go and get some utensils put away as well as cooking utensils and then I declutter as I look into the drawers there goes the filter I always straighten things out as I'm putting things away so it's not a mess later on now we're going to take care of the beer bottles adults had their own version of a party after the kids left and then we're going to take care of the sink 
I'm going to make sure all the dishes are done. Not too many in here, just a few. Then we're going to scrub the sink down with hot soapy water, wipe it down, and take care of the rest of the kitchen. I like spraying the sink. It's one of my favorite parts. Grabbing a few more things. Making sure I get the walls of the sink as well as the basin area, the drain, and the faucet. Nice soapy water. Here comes the spray part. And I have my tea towels. One for the sink area, and then I have one for the counter surfaces, and one for the opposite side of the kitchen, so you're not crisscrossing and transferring germs other areas of the home. I use hot soapy water, and you should be fine. Now I'm going to take care of the countertop. I got some beer bottles that I rinsed out that I want to put away. I'm going to put them to the opposite side of the kitchen. I'm going to move my holiday mat so we can do a good scrub down. We have a special Clean With Me Thanksgiving morning to deep clean the kitchen and get it ready for family coming. So check that out later this week so you can stay on top of your cleaning needs. Put a couple things away in the junk drawer. We're going to turn our attention to the opposite side of the kitchen here. Put the lid up for a second and get those beer bottles put away. I like to do the voiceovers because of the background noise and it helps with the clanging of bottles on occasion. Now we're going to sweep in here, back and forth, short, long strokes, until everything's up. There's not a lot in here because I swept in here last night. I'm just picking it up once more before we do a mop. Get the floor nice and clean for the day. I mop as needed, or every other day. And I sweep multiple times a day throughout the day, just like with the wiping down counter surfaces and dishes are done multiple times a day. Two to three times, usually. Now we're going to take care of the microwave counter area. Clean up the stove top. Put some clutter away. Make sure the coffee pot is rinsed out and ready to go for tomorrow morning. As I mentioned in the past, we don't do a lot of coffee in the evenings, just mornings. I have two, usually one to two cups inside the microwave. Don't need to do the dish, just did it recently. I scrub down the countertop, make sure all the sugar and coffee spills are up. Continue wiping this down and do the door of the stove. Make sure my tea towel doesn't fall. Scrubbing down the front area of the stove. Then we're going to go back to the countertop. Put the holiday mat back. And then I'm going to do the counter top quickly with a disinfectant wipe. And then I'm going to do the cabinets with the disinfectant wipe. Because a lot of people are in and out of the cabinets yesterday. And getting the fingerprints off. These are old, probably original to the kitchen. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We're gonna do a final walkthrough. Let's take a look at everything that we've done. Took care of both sides of the kitchen. The giveaways are gift cards, $10 amounts, and we give out two. If you're new, comment in order to qualify. Please be kind. Must be subscribed in a U.S. residence. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes through the mail. We give out a five item surprise pack every once in a while, valued at $6.25 from the Dollar Tree, and we're still looking for three people for that. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the giveaways. There's a prize vault video for you to check out for the prizes we give away. If you won in the past 60 days, you gotta wait that out. If you've won, you don't answer within two, you'll be disqualified. We're on Instagram, we have a Facebook page and group. Go over there and like and join and follow. My email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. I'd like to thank everybody for their continuing ongoing support. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Get cleaned up for the holidays, for your family, even if it's just you. Get your home clean and order. Happy cleaning, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe.